Yo, what's up everybody? Good morning. It is the first day of the conference. It, it's so early. It's 9 a.m. <laughs> Barely awake. But hopefully they'll have a bunch of coffee in there. Keep me up. Today, Glenn Hustler has to speak in. Later today. Tomorrow I'll be speaking. But it should be fun. Yo, speaking today, merch by Amazon. Not uh, the most exciting topic in the world because uh, a lot of data driven, niche driven. So uh, I'll sneak in some Ross finds at the end. Ross finds of the week. <laughs> Just gonna. <laughs> We're here with Emma, just another seller. Please tell us what are you gonna be speaking about? I'm gonna be speaking about how to buy wholesale and what mistakes not to make. Ryan, what do you think? It's nice. It's yeah, that's pretty nice. Vlog it all. Vlog it all. Five factors in creating a winning t-shirt designed for merch by Amazon. My name is Glenn Zubia Jr. I am a graphic designer from El Paso, Texas. Amazon takes care of the rest. So they're gonna have a physical t-shirt, they're gonna print it, they're gonna ship it out, Amazon Prime, and then they follow through with customer service. So you just collect a royalty in each sale. Here's a perfect example for St. Patrick's Day selling really, really good right now. Shut up, liver, you're fine. So, awesome design. Uh, no monthly fees, no inventory, no sourcing, no shipping. Now, I know you're gonna say, really? Really? No monthly fees, no inventory, no sourcing, no shipping. And it's all true. It gets better. Like, I just want you to sit back and relax and imagine a world where there was no monthly fees. It feels good, right? No inventory. Man, no sourcing. You're just sitting there creating designs, you're uploading, sipping wine, ah, refreshing. Feels good, but it gets better. Now you're flying, you're on unicorns, you're traveling the world on and and rally roads. It can happen. Because it works by Amazon, anything can happen. And this could be you. Here's the thing, it's not all unicorns and rainbows. It's a little bit of a struggle, and getting accepted is half the battle because Amazon makes up their own rules. So you really don't know when you're gonna get in or not. I've seen some people get in two days, three days, two months. Let's say we open up these main three, Amazon, Etsy, Pinterest. We're gonna come up with some ideas that we see here. Hi everybody, I am going to introduce Ken, the Hustle Bee. Give a big round of applause. Sneaker dude, I used to resell a lot of sneakers, but it was just basically most in Facebook groups. I started a coffee shop called named the Coffee Hut when I was in college in the Philippines. 
Lane One Car Store was actually my car shop in a car store. And also I was a sponsor driver for two years. And the beautiful lady right there, to your right, oops, is my wife JC. We run this operation together. Um, we, when we got married, we decided that we, need to, uh, we wanted to take our marriage to the next level. We wanted to take a journey together. So what we decided is, let's move to a different place and we don't know anybody so that we have to rely on each other more, we can trust each other more, we can build a relationship together. So we decided to move here to the U.S. and um, we are based in Cincinnati, Ohio right now. Um, my, my, my dad knows somebody there so he was able to welcome us and let us stay for him until we get our things together. On your left will be our living room. Now there's no couch. And <laughs> And on your right will be the second bedroom. There's nothing in there but shoes, so that's our stock room. We started, we sold everything that we didn't need. Uh, that was uh, Glenn's main advice to me, uh, to start to get to know the platform, eBay, sell everything that you don't need, and actually uh, you know, know the platform before you start buying things. So last day and separating all the stuff, all the finds, putting everything together and uh, we didn't get a lot of conference footage because we couldn't record anything in there but you guys probably saw different stuff, Instagram and I don't know where else and including some photos and stuff. So um, yeah, we'll break down the stuff that we found and we didn't have to pay anything for this trip because free flights and hotel. So that helps. Going to Kansas City and then driving to St. Louis. All right, as far as the fines go, before we get into the conference stuff, uh, twenty-four ninety-nine Mercurial CR sevens, and um, I don't know. We've never seen them. I don't think I've. I don't think I've ever seen anything like this at Ross. And uh, yeah, for a while. Probably it's been like probably like last fall was the ones. Well, we've seen those CR7s. Uh, the other one, uh, we have some fry boots. So, uh, Glenn didn't know anything about this. And uh, he was just passing by on this. But always keep an eye on for this stuff. Got the fry tag there. But we paid $29.99 for this thing. It was red tag. So, we are selling it for $180. So, a pretty good find. A unique find. Uh, first time we've found fry boots in a hustle. And then uh, Kobe 11's B grades though, Burlington, forty nine ninety nine. dollars um, Even then still selling like 120, 130 range. Good uh, size, 10 yeah, and a half. 10 and a half, good size. Probably fit you. Yeah, and yeah, I can't keep in more stuff. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. And also we have uh, Super Bowl, I forgot the name, uh, Speed Turf, Super Bowl Speed Turf. Um, this are $19.99, we found it at Ross. So we've got the white and gold colorway. Um, there's not a lot of listings up there, but yeah, these are our top four highlights that we found for this trip. So looking at the numbers and breaking this down, so here's what happened. We came in on a Tuesday. We sourced like half day that day because mm -hmm. we got in at what, like noon or one or something? Mm -hmm. We didn't even start until like three or something. Right, so right. sourced a little bit then. Next, they drove to St. Louis, and then we got, <laughs> well, we drove with her three hours, and we got as much time as we could, and we had to drive back another three hours to make sure we were here on time for the other stuff they had going on. Mm -hmm. So that was maybe like probably only six hours? Yeah, six hours, like, yeah, six hours max. Maybe. Six hours max. Yeah, I think St. Louis is actually pretty good. Like, I think it had a lot of potential. Like, we've got decent fines. Yeah, we we found the most there combined. And, and then uh, next day, we... Picked up Jeff. We sourced a little bit. Sourced a little bit. Found more. 
Yeah. And here in Kansas locally, yeah. so uh, actually like the third day, uh, that Thursday was actually better finds compared yeah. to Tuesday. And then we picked up rally routes and then we came back here. So then after that it was just pretty much all conference. We didn't do any other sourcing. It was just being here and doing the conference, doing the talks, doing all that. So right now the breakdown, we might, might do a little sourcing right now. We don't know yet. But what I always say is <laughs> until he packs his bag and don't have any room. <laughs> so in total uh, profits one thousand three hundred and fifty two dollars for the uh, twelve hours of sourcing that we did or less. I don't even I mean it wasn't no, it wasn't no. as much as I would liked it to be because Right. They really, they really didn't have that much stores, you know. Um Kansas City wouldn't be, you know, one of the top cities right there too. Yeah, but it seemed a little untapped, so we were kind yeah, of like, that, all right, cool, like some potential. That's here. probably why there's a lot of unique finds this time because uh these were just you know, private people were just passing by on this one. But more one offs than going to oh, yeah. finance. Yeah, so we had we had trouble splitting everything up, so So yeah, in the end, um I think thirteen fifty, that's pretty good. We yeah, split that in half. Fifty, yeah, split, split that in half, so um it was a good like what, six hundred and something bucks. I thought I had it on here. Um Yeah, and to think, you know, um over oh, here. Five hundred wait, no, that's no, right. Thirteen. Fifty divided by two. Yeah, Six hundred seventy-five each. Or yeah, less. and you know, like he mentioned that you know the reseller M flew us in here, got us a hotel. Um, so that really and did. our flights. Yeah, oh, yeah, and our flights, the big deal. So and we got a lot of free meals, not only on the conference, but people just buying. Them. <laughs> yeah, that was pretty good. Um, so that was, you know, we <laughs> barely, you know, have voice because we were just talking all night, and last night we just pretty much had to like. We just had to cut this. <laughs> we just had to, you know, to escape because we had to pack. We had to, you know, divide all this, do the numbers, do accounting. Um, but, but good thing is we're not leaving till later. I don't leave till four. You don't leave till five. Six, uh, yeah, five. five. So, uh, so we should be fine. But yeah, uh, Kansas City was fun. Uh, event was awesome. You know, if you guys follow hashtag Reseller Fam Live 2018. You guys will see everything uh, that we did there. Uh, it kind of went viral a little bit. It was, as far as our small little reselling community goes, it went, we had a lot of just random photos. <coughs> the costume, the talks, the... Um, they could only record so much. They had like rules that they told them in the very beginning. So you're not going to see a lot, a lot of videos out there. Mm -hmm. But um, just cool meeting everybody that you see all the time. YouTube and or Instagram. Rally Roots we never met. Hustle at Home Mom we never met. Loretta. Loretta we never met. Uh, well, so we, we met Mark, uh, CPA, which I will be contacting a lot. <laughs> um, them taxes, though. Them taxes, man. Uh, who else? Who else was speaking? Jason D. Smith was my first time to meet him. Yeah, was too. Giant much. dude. <laughs> uh, Giant dude, like a wrestler. Uh, who else? Um, that's pretty much it. Yeah, I mean, we and everybody else. Yeah, yeah, everybody else. I was actually just attending. Yeah, uh, yeah. We we pretty much. I mean, we had about a good hundred fifty people. Uh, it was one forty nine was the count. So that was that was pretty cool. And I think we pretty much were able to shake hands and say hi to everybody. Mm -hmm. So that was like the biggest thing, really. But uh, we're excited to go home. Uh, next trip, next our hustle will be Florida. We have quite a bit time to rest maybe six weeks till the next uh, trip and we're trying to plan it better we're trying to get a better venue uh, but we're excited to see everybody down there in florida we're gonna do orlando tampa and miami oh three of them miami home of the dolphins yep so we get that clearance guy, burlington this stuff. guy's this guy's pretty stoked so he's burlington people might be really happy for uh them to have clan because <laughs> just gonna be buying all of those so stuff that they haven't sold <laughs> dolphin stuff they haven't sold like who, who wants all this stuff <laughs> yeah this guy yeah so there we go uh we'll see what we do today i don't know if we're gonna go sourcing or not but if we do then you'll see the footage if not then we'll just we'll, eat we'll just eat and see you next time for the next out hustled florida number six, six. all right and just like how we say it in this channel go, go out and, and get, get it, it.